everybody, before you watch the video, make sure you follow the page, like the video, hope you enjoy. And early. when you start to do something, and especially if you join a, a small group, then the opportunities come, come, they come to you. Uh, like I said before, and, and when I introduced myself, I would, I'd never, if you would have asked me five years ago, if I do jujitsu, I would have told you, hey, check, check a little bit your, yeah, because. I was I wasn't never never think to to do that. But while I was doing my run group, it come the, this idea to to start to learn to de defend myself. So the things are coming by themselves. Mm -hmm. If you start to do something, just start to do something. Yeah, it all starts yeah. with one thing. Yes, yeah. you start with a twenty minute walk. Then you think, uh, oh, maybe yeah, I, should I should do weights, uh, and then yeah. oh, after the weights, maybe yeah. I should do a marathon. Yeah. Or, Maybe I should do jiu-jitsu, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe I should do kickboxing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely like that. It's a snowball build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. the ideas build, yeah, change. Because yeah. you start things, looking yeah. after more after yeah, yeah, yourself. And yeah, yeah. yeah. You, Eduardo has talked about this before, more to do with people like wanting to do well in life or their business or making more money or whatever. It's the same thing with exercise. It opens your mind to more perspective. Exactly. You know, when you yep. just start anything. So yep. the thing to do always in life is not to be comfortable and, and safe is risk a little bit sometimes risk and try and yep. then you try, try that and you have a bigger perspective of more things and then you try a new thing and then you have another bigger perspective of new things i think we've talked about this stuff with other people and ourselves and stuff it's really easy to get caught in like that comfort safety trap where you're very rigid on your boundaries this is what i expect this is what i believe this is how it should be and it's like Sometimes you restricting yourself like that doesn't open like you don't, you can't like find the things that maybe would make you even more happy or even more enjoyable in life because you're so strict and rigid on what it should be. Yep. Sometimes yep. you should just try it and then you, you see. see. <coughs> but also when you start something, don't give up after one month when you see is nothing happened. Yeah. I say oh nothing happened. It's not like that. The people says it, the things will come. Yeah with time yeah takes time yeah so you know it, but, but this is i just want to say sorry. one point about this this is important on both sides because i watched some other person talk about this and i thought the way they explained it was really um interesting and really effective the negative side is the same the positive side is the same you don't get heart disease in a month you don't get heart disease in one year yeah you get heart disease in 10 years of eating the burger and staying at home and doing nothing and it's the same thing in the positive side you don't get good at jiu-jitsu in a month. You don't get healthy in a month. Right. You get healthy after five years of long-term training consistently going, you know, four or five times a week or three times a week or whatever. Do you know what I mean? It, it takes time. You're building, you know, whatever you're building. You, you don't build a house in a day. It might take you one year to build the house you want. And that's the, the, that, that idea, Rome wasn't built in a day. That idea is present in everything. But it's on the negative side too. Yeah. We talked about this with Jess a little bit too, yeah, purple about Jess, yep. and she said a similar thing here. It's like it's like a spiral you get caught in, and, and it can go in the negative way or the positive way, yeah. and it just depends what you're putting your effort and energy into it. The problem is, is normally we feel <clears throat> it, it's easier when we're comfortable, but like life works like this. Either you have the negativity on the front end, you work hard early, and then it gets easier on the end, and that's what happens with yeah. jiu-jitsu. Yeah. It's really hard for the first two or three years because it's so new, it's so complex, it's so whatever. And then you kind of fall into a groove that you can keep pushing forward and you keep getting better. And Or it's the opposite. It's really easy now. Oh, I'm going to just relax and be comfortable and be comfortable. Mm. And then five years later, now it's hard. Yeah. You can't change anymore. Yeah. And sometimes... It's so, it's so true. Yes, very true. Mm. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Um, if you haven't yet already, make sure you subscribe and like. And again, go and check us out on Facebook, on Instagram, like all our platforms. Give us a follow at bjj.101 on Instagram. 
and go and check out bjj101.com.au to access the full video library.